Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee. Whoa, that's not how it starts. Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna talk about winged eyeliner. Yes, I'm gonna make sure that those wings of yours are always on fleek. Now, I am not a makeup artist, but I'm someone that really, really wanted to master wing liner, and I think I've finally done it, or at least got to a point where I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to master winged liner. Now, when I just started to learn how to do wings, I always watched all these YouTube videos just like you, and girls would always say, you just need to practice, you just need to practice, and I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna practice, I just wanna have perfect wings now. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to get perfect wings. One way you will need to do some practicing to get a nice steady hand, but the second way it's for those of you that don't want to wait and just kinda wanna get a pretty decent wing like tonight. So now let me zoom in and show you exactly how I made these wings. So you're gonna grab your liquid liner and then you're gonna start right at the corner of your eye and draw a diagonal line going straight up. Then instead of going to the very top of the point, you're gonna go a little bit lower, and then all you do is bring it on down. Then after you made this triangle, you just fill it in. Remember how in elementary school we learned how to color in the lines? This is exactly where those skills are gonna come in handy. Now that the hard part's out the way, we're just gonna go over the top of our lid from the very corner and then we pull it over to connect it to our little triangle over here at the end. And voila, this is how I make my wings with liquid liner. Now the second option for those of us that are impatient beginners, all you're gonna need is a piece of tape. You're gonna put the tape at a diagonal angle so that it's going into a diagonal line starting at the corner of your eye. Then you're gonna press this down and make sure it sets in place. Just like that. Now that the line is already on our eyelid, we're gonna focus on the wing part. So we're simply going to continue the line we already have and bring it up and over the tape. Because the tape is at a diagonal angle, it's gonna create an angled wing for you anyways. So just continue to paint on over from the line and drag it over. And I wouldn't suggest that you use the tape method every day because since you are pulling it off, I don't want you to get wrinkles later in life, but this is a good way to start to learn how to get a perfect wing. Once the wing is drawn, you're gonna pull up from the tape and voila, look at that. This is actually the first time I've tried the tape method, so I kind of surprised myself. But look how clean that wing is though. Now I would recommend doing this before you put on your foundation, but due to this video, I already had makeup on. So I'm gonna go back and cover up any makeup that I probably ripped off my face. Now I'm going to add some mascara and bam, here are the finished results with both of my beautiful wings. So there you go. That is how I made a quick and easy, beautiful winged liner. But as much as I hate to say it, practice really does make perfect. You should just do wings every day. That's what I did. You can be going to Walmart to pick up some toothpaste, but your wings better be on fleek. And if they're not, it's Walmart. So you're fine. I have been on the quest to find the perfect liquid liner and the NYX Matte Liquid Liner is definitely my favorite. I'm going to tell you why. Now, e.l.f. has a liquid eyeliner, which is actually great because it has a really sharp point of the brush, but the actual liquid liner itself was kind of like watery. It wasn't as black as I wanted it to be. So then I decided to try the Maybelline New York Master Precise Eyeliner in black. And this is a felt tip pen, so I thought I was gonna go on even smoother but then when I tried it, it actually came out very dry. You had to push down really hard to see any type of color. And if you're trying to perfect a winged liner, ain't nobody got time to be pushing down that hard, worried about the color, We you have to worry about the wing itself. But then I got the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, also in black, and this is also a felt tip pen. So I was like, okay, this is a high-end product. It's gonna be amazing. But then when I tried it, it did go on very easily, but the color wasn't as dark black as I wanted it to be. It looked kind of watery and runny. You could still kind of see my skin tone behind it. So I mean, it was all right. And then I got the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner in black, 
And this one isn't a felt tip, it's a, just a brush. But as you can see, it looks kind of messy on there, right? Remember that for later. But as I compare it next to the Kat Von D, you'll see how much more of a dark black you get from the Revlon versus the Kat Von D. That is how black I wanted my liner. But the only thing about this brush is that it bends very easy. So if you don't have a steady hand, it could just bend and just mess up your liner. So it's still good consistency, but the brush was okay. And then I found my holy grail, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, the perfect liquid liner. So this one is also a brush form, but as you can see, the brush looks a lot neater than the Revlon already. And it goes on so smooth and it's a nice dark black. Now, although it's a brush tip and it still has a slight bend to it, it bends at the end so you can still get a nice, perfectly straight winged liner. This one is definitely my favorite. So luckily, all of those eyeliners are all drugstore products. They're probably no more than $9 or less. And the Kat Von D one is probably a little bit more expensive. I'll look at the prices and put them in the description box for you guys. But if you are a beginner, I definitely recommend the next one. And even if you're not, this is definitely my favorite. But learning purposes, this one is just gonna go on the easiest for you until you get the hang of it. So now that you are going to master the winged liner, I would love to see your results if you use this technique. So make sure you tag me in any pictures you post at Ms. Bianca Renee. Follow me on Instagram. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.